Hey guys, welcome to the 14th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the while statement and the do while statement, which are both loop statements. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and a text box. And once you have those on your form, just double click on the button. Now we're going to create um, a while statement first. In order to create a while statement, you're just going to want to type the keyword while. And then you're just going to have two parentheses following it. Now inside of these parentheses, you're going to want to have a conditional statement. And if the conditional statement returns a value of true, then it will do the code inside of the while statement. So we're just going to create a new integer i and set it equal to 0. And then we're going to say while i is less than 10, then we'll have it do the code inside of the while statement. And just like the for and for each statement, if you have multiple lines of code inside of your while statement, you're going to need to have the curly braces. Otherwise, you only need, you do not have to have the curly braces, and you can just keep it all on the same line. So what we're going to have it do is we're going to have it print out i into a text box. So we're going to do text box one dot text plus equals i dot two string, and then we're just going to have it increment i by one so that it is not infinite. So once again, what it will do first is it will create a new integer i. Then it will check to see if i is less than 10. If it is less than 10, then it will print out i into the text box, and then it will increment i by 1. Then we'll start again, go back up here, um, check to see if i is less than 10, and so on. And we'll continue to do this until i is equal to 10, and then it will stop. So now we're going to debug. And when we click button 1, we should get numbers 0 through 9 in this text box. Yep. In order to have a while statement that goes on for forever, all you're going to need to do is type the word true in here. And since we just need something that returns a value of true, it will always con it will continue to um, loop through continuously. So now when we click the button, it, the program should just freeze because it is continuing to do work. Yep, it's frozen. So to stop debugging, just click F6 and click Enter. Alright, so the next statement we're going to be looking at is the do while statement. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to create a new integer i sub equal to 0. Now to create a do statement, you're just going to type do, and then after that you're just going to have two curly braces. Now inside these curly braces, you're going to want to have the code that you're going to want to have it loop through. So what we're going to have it do is we're going to have it just print out i into the text box. So it's going to be text box one dot text plus equals i dot two string. All right. So right now we don't have any conditional statement for it to check to see when it needs to stop. So in order to do that, we're just going to want to type the while keyword. Now inside this, um, these two parentheses, we're going to want to type what we want it to what we want it to check to see when to stop. So if we want to have it um, check to see if i is less than 10 then what it will do is it will loop through um, what it will do is it will loop through um, this do statement and then it will check to see if i is less than 10 unlike the all the other looping statements where it checks first this checks last so we are guaranteed for it to go through this do statement at least once and we're just going to have to have it increment i by 1 here or else it will um, just be continuous because I will always remain the same. So once again, what it will do is first it will create a new integer i. Then it will go through this code right here, increment i by one, and check to see if i is less than ten. If it is less than ten, then it will do it again. And then as soon as i is equal to ten, it will stop. So here when we debug, we click button one we should get numbers 0 through 9 in this text box. Yep. And again, if you wanted to have it loop um, infinitely, all you'd have to do is change this to something static. So we'll just make it always return true. So it will always, um, uh, it will always return true, so it'll just always loop through over and over again. So when we click this button, we should get it to freeze. Yep. So that's it for this tutorial, so see you guys.